Hey everybody, I'm back with another update of what's happening here in Southern Utah. And today I'm back here on St. George Boulevard, right in the heart of St. George. Today we get to talk about everything happening from the east all the way to the west end of St. George Boulevard as there's something happening uh, literally on each end and everything in between. I uh, really look forward to showing you everything that's going on. So let's get started. So first up, we'll start here on the east side, just, co just coming off of exit eight onto St. George Boulevard. We've got the old Sakura building that has been completely gutted um, and construction is underway for Sunday's Best. Uh, this is a brunch place from Northern Utah, super popular spot. Uh, this will be their second location. Uh, first one down here in St. George and I know a lot of people are really excited for it. Not sure on the time frame of this one just yet because of all the work that needs to be done, but I anticipate it at least later, sometime later this year. Then down the street from there, we've got the old historic Larson's Frost Top building that I know quite a few people were sad to see it go out. Um, it is being currently renovated uh, for sipping drinks and treats, uh, and their plan is to be open near the end of this month. Then just a little ways down from here, we've got uh, Maharaja Indian Cuisine that just replaced Turmeric Indian Grill. It's the same group. Uh, it used to be a fast casual uh, restaurant and now it is this full sit down uh, restaurant. Uh, I've heard really good things about it. They just opened up last week, so I haven't been yet, uh, but make sure to come check these guys out. Then just a few blocks from here, we've got another restaurant in the works I've mentioned before. This is Mixed Greens, that is uh, their second location. They've been a staple in Santa Clara and are opening another location here. Uh, not sure on the time frame of this one just yet, but they've been working on the inside for quite a while. Uh, so I anticipate that one sometime soon. And I know a lot of people are super pumped for this one as well. Then directly across from there, we've got the Wetzel Pretzels that's been here for some time. It was uh, powered by Thirst. Uh, Thirst is no longer. I've had a lot of people ask me about this one. Uh, Wetzel Pretzel is still here and is some of the most popular pretzels in town. Uh, so if you haven't been over here, come check these guys out too. Then we'll go further west uh, over to the Rock Taco and Flake Pipe building. Uh, th uh, unfortunately, these two restaurants went out recently in the past month. Um, it has been taken over by another taco company called The Smoke Taco out of Northern Utah. I'm not totally sure yet on what their plan is uh, for the two spaces, uh, but they are coming in here. No set time frame just yet, as this is all uh, pretty new. Uh, but as soon as I have more updates, I'll make sure to keep everybody in the loop. Now we'll head into downtown St. George, right next to the High 435 Tap House. We've got the District Main going in here. Uh, this is a luxury salon and blow dry bar. They're currently working on their build out and their plan is to be open sometime in February. Along with that, we had a couple other businesses open up last year that didn't make it into the videos that I wanted to uh, say as well. The first one is Soul Sanctuary. It's a pedicure retreat salon uh, that is open here just off of the roundabout on Main Street. And then right next to it is Rise and Wander, which is a boutique store with uh, different clothing um, and local type items uh, for uh, tourists and locals alike to come enjoy. Uh, so if you haven't been over here to either one of these, make sure to come check them out. Then from there, on the other side of Ancestor Square, we've got the big empty piece of dirt uh, that a lot of people ask about. Uh, this is part of the RFP project with the city that uh, is gonna be bid out um, and we'll have something happen here eventually. They've had proposals come in from groups to work on the project, but nothing is set in stone as to what will happen. Um, but I do anticipate that to make progress uh, sometime this year. I'm really excited about this one because I think it has a real potential to bring more vibrancy to downtown. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens here. Then just another block down from there, we've got the old car dealerships that actually just recently caught fire a few weeks ago. Uh, these will eventually be torn down and will be turned into an apartment complex that has been approved here uh, with some retail and different office potentials on the bottom. Uh, no set time frame on this one just yet, but it is approved and at some point it will happen. And to round this out, uh, the last restaurant to talk about on this video is Chubby's uh, that is coming in where the Ace Hardware is uh, here on the corner of Sun St. George Boulevard and Bluff Street. Uh, this is another Northern Utah restaurant coming down here, uh, cafe style, uh, burgers and fries and whatnot. Uh, don't have a time frame just yet, but they've been working on this one for a few months as well. And I anticipate this one being open sometime in the next couple months. And that's a wrap guys. As you can see, a lot of good stuff happening right here on St. George Boulevard. A lot of new food, which makes me really excited. I'm really looking forward to seeing all these open. For more info on what's happening here in Southern Utah, you can call me or text me 435-668-7293 or find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, or Instagram. Thanks guys.